What up, y'all? It's your boy, Malky Pablo, a.k.a. Billionaire Pop. So today we're going to talk about the news of the potential return to Fight Night. The homie Mike Straw, y'all see him on the screen. About uh, two weeks ago, he pretty much uh, talked about the chances that Fight Night actually come back after um, UFC 6, which is a great, you know, franchise. Obviously... Um, I'm a fan of both sports. We've been dying for a fight night to come out <laughs> for the past 14 years. But and being a cerebral person, it's obvious for what took place. Um, EA understands that the UFC at the time was so much hotter than boxing. After the recession in 2011 with Floyd pretty much had to come back to revive the sport around like the Kodo time. Um, UFC was just on the tear, and especially that whole 2015 run they went on, it was crazy. Like, it was a it was a time where UFC completely took over, where Anderson Silva was still him, and the midst of John Jones still being him, and the midst of Ronda Rousey being her emerging to a cyborg, Amanda Serrano, to even... Um, uh, Connor, like the UFC had a, a lot of people while boxing kind of, now here's what I would say, because I'm a diehard boxing fan, like I'm not a casual, I will get up at five in the morning and watch a fight in Hungary or Indonesia or Japan. So I'm like a, a boxing extremist and I will say the sport wasn't as in shambles as people made it seem, but UFC definitely had the upper hand matchup wise and obviously Turkey Alashish over the past few years and kind of putting the sport, you know, in a, a decent run with the emergence of Devin Haney, your Shakurs, your all your basically fighter Tia Fimo Lopez's, Lomachenko. I say around twenty fifteen boxing kinda of got back in a solid element and then obviously over the past two to three years it's been on the tear. Um but I'll say this EA coming back with a game, awesome. I know a lot of what UFC uh, kept getting game releases before fight night. It's obviously, it's the roster. It's an organization. So they hit up Dana White or who's ever in control. They get access to the fighters. And unfortunately, no knock on MMA. It wouldn't be hard to get those guys or women because they are severely underpaid. So any form of payment, or something like this, they're not going to be as divas as boxing. Now, boxers are divas in the sense of some of them at times get overpaid. At times, some of them still don't get what they feel is their worth. But they've getting, gotten a lot of checks against lower tier guys. So their confidence of I can sell, even if they aren't the seller of the MMA guy, their bag is different and I say that because it's going to eventually tie it all together it's easy to approach Daniel White to get the guys before a boxer because you can reach out to certain boxers because people will think oh this is a Floyd Mayweather thing Floyd you should be on the game for free which is a goofy take so we know electronic arts they got a ridiculous amount of money they could pay whoever, not pocket watching, but that's the reality. Floyd's not the only person who want that bag. Everybody, and they are right to a sense, feel like they add value. Now, as a person who wanted a game, I'm not mad at electronic arts either because they probably like, hey, bro, for FIFA, we're not dishing out this type of money. And for UFC, we ain't dishing out that type of money. Y'all, audience of people is probably close. And maybe it might be more boxing fans due to the, the history. And it's been boxing games since the 80s and 90s Nintendo. So naturally, it's been around longer. So you might have those gamers. But in reality, sell point wise, it's about the same. If we're talking profit margins, based on who they would have to talk to, they look at it like, we better off just doing UFC F boxing, right? Now, and I think as time evolved, and shout out to Undisputed, 
um, Showbiz the Adult Game, Hard Knocks Nights, Round for Round. Them seeing all of these people making games, I think it def they were definitely paying attention the entire time to where it's like, man, how interested is people? But nobody quite did what Undisputed did. They actually brought a game into reality, and they got a lot of fighters. And I think EA Sports definitely rode the wave. Um, and obviously, Salute still at uh, City Interactive and the whole team for releasing the game. I'll say this. They waited on them, and they figured, man, we could make something a little better. So I'm like, y'all rode their wave 100%. Y'all meet rode them. Now y'all see his interest. It's an immense amount of people on the game. Now y'all want to take over. So we're going to salute still, salute still City Interactive because people talking about who's not on the game, y'all got to give credit to who is on the game. People like Riddick Bowe and Larry Holmes, son, are people who were never on a fight night that should have been. They even got guys like Tommy Morrison who appeared on the last game. People like Floyd Patterson is on the game. Even people that's not technically updated yet, Shakur Stevenson, Jerome Boosinis, Raymond Ford. They got a lot of boxers who are relevant today, and Fight Night has really failed to do that. Fight Night champion, bro, at that time, Danny Jacob wasn't really the Danny Jacob that he became. Iris Londi Lar wasn't the Lar that he became. Yuri Orcus Gamboa was him. Timothy Bradley was him. Victor Ortiz didn't even beat Andre Berto yet. Like, they got a lot of at face value names to it. It's like, eh. They didn't target the best. So I'm going to always be on EA Hills in comparison to Steel City. Now, here's what I'll say. After playing Steel City, despite the immense amount of respect I have for them, what Fight Night doing is goofy because you shouldn't have had to see the interest from this game to let you know how serious and interested people were to play our product. However, what I will say is this. After playing Undisputed with the bugs and the problems that it has, I'm not even going to speak on that because I already been did that, right? But with the situation of that game, I did revisit Fight Night, as you all can see, this morning. And... It was definitely refreshing. It took me a while to readjust to the buttons, and I'm like, man, this is more my speed. But I would love to see the return of Fight Night, but I still do think it is corny that it took this to, ta to happen. And shout out to Steel City again, because even if the game is amazing, which I feel it would be, and I feel this would be our strongest roster, because Steel City has 120 plus fighters, a lot of notable current fighters. Y'all can't feed us legends. Oh, we're going to give them Mike Tyson. Let's give them Manny Pat. Nah, y'all roster was whack, bro. I ain't going to forget what y'all did with that roster. That roster was egregious. Like, Fight Night Champion roster was so bad that they had to fill it up with boxers who didn't even exist. So, I'm not going to give them a pass, the benefit of the doubt. Based on what Undisputed did, y'all know y'all got to be on y'all A game, roster and gameplay wise. And I trust that y'all will do that. And due to some of the things on Undisputed, I am interested to seeing how y'all bounce back uh, Fight Night, whether it's called Round 6 or Undisputed. Although I am interested in Undisputed uh, update in December. I was hoping it came out this week, but nonetheless, we're not about to. Just jump ship. Like, don't get me wrong. We've been anticipating y'all game and y'all more experienced in making the game. But I'm still going to forever support Still City Interactive for at least attempting to fill a void. Now, here's the things we will say pertaining to Fight Night Champion or Fight Night Champion 2 or Fight Night Round 5. Me personally, let's go back to Fight Night Round 5. Let's get rid of this champion stuff. Champion was, despite me being a leader, him on there, I'll keep it 100 and say one button block was insane. Like, who on earth does that? Like, I don't like Undisputed block, I ain't like Fight Night block. 
despite me being excellent at flight night block, that's some of the silliest stuff I ever seen. So I'm like, I wanted to be round six, not champions two. That Andre Bishop story mode was some of the corniest stuff ever. I'm in a minority. When it come to that, I despise that story mode on a multitude of levels. I hated it being two brothers fight each other. I hated it being a, a guy with a, a a guy who got a clean cut in the Olympics with a big heavyweight who two sixty while he one sixty. He goes to jail, grow an afro. He's a two hundred pounds. He fights his brother. His brother jealous. He lets him beat him. Then his brother lose to a guy. He come back and beat him. Like, son, this stuff is a Tyler Perry <laughs> movie. Like, it got a lot of dramatics going on. Young is like, man, I love that story mode. I'm like, man, that stuff was corny. Now, fight night round five should return for a multitude of reasons. Strong roster. They should have a multitude of styles. Um, More fighters. It should be literally like if 2K made a boxing game. Styles, block styles, movement styles, different hooks, jabs, straights, uppercuts, all of that. Strong roster is needed. Strong gameplay is needed. More diverse arenas. That's what I give Undisputed. Fight Night was doing a lot of ballrooms, Atlantic City. I'm like, they did end up putting Cowboy Stadium. But it's a lot of stuff. That um they should put roster wise would it been real season and Turkey Alashish they'll probably be able to get a good portion of the guys and some guys who's probably connected with uh, the WBC if y'all hear some noises in the background don't worry about that I'm just getting a hundred notifications but my thoughts on this game coming back is um it's definitely needed long awaited it's the company that we've been familiar with with boxing games in general not even just fight night. When it comes to Knockout King, even when I was a youngster in 99, playing when you go to the, the loading screen, it's Floyd Mayweather in his Olympic outfit. You got your Terry Norris's, your Lennox Lewis's. Um, Ray Mercer was on there. That roster was pretty deep. Shane Prime, Shane Mosley, um, De La Hoya, like the list goes on. It was a crazy amount of elites um, at that time. Fight Night Round 2 strong roster as well but it was more so though what those guys became after the game that made it a standout but it was still relatively a standout because floyd had beat diego corrales by that particular time but um yeah fight night champion i mean hopefully it's not flight night champion i don't even want to keep saying that but fight night round six definitely looking forward to that coming out um, and I think they're going to keep their word 2026 to 27, UFC 6. Um, I'm eager for UFC 6 too. Here's the funny part. Ironically, I enjoy the logic of UFC 6 stand and bang pause, no ditty. Because it's like you can evade punches, left, right, slip under punches, lean back. It got more of a logic, I feel, than undisputed so it's more tolerable and I think the matches is quick so I find myself killing a lot of time with that so I'm I'm interested in UFC uh six two like I'm for sure gonna play that and um buy it but this fight night I got a weird feeling it's gonna be the return of Floyd Mayweather. Um they seen the amount of people who play this game and they lost their roster. They lost their whole identity, the NBA 2K. They birthed NBA 2K to where 2K can literally make wrestling games and everything. This comes from Live and EA Electronic Arts abandoning their core audience. They don't want to lose this audience because despite Undisputed being incomplete, it still shows certain glimpses of if they continue to acquire money, make updates over time, if y'all continue to abandon it, they can be the leaders in that. And boxing is on the tear at this point. I think they know that. They seen interest. They made a lot of money off of FIFA. It's funds allocated for a risk. And I think with EA, UFC, they not enjoying the sales just like they ain't enjoy the fight night sales. 
But I'm like, that's in comparison to FIFA, which we know soccer is the biggest sport in the whole world. So they're going to take an aggressive chance on this. Um, with Undisputed having people like Shakur Stevenson, Jerron Ennis framing forward. People talking about legends. Oh, I want Tyson Pacquiao. I'm not going to say forget them, but I've never really played a fight night other than round two where I'm currently using fighters who are directly the best in the world at that time. Like Manny Pacquiao, okay, cool, on round four. And then I'm like, son, Shane Mosley was washed on round four. Paulie was him to a degree. But y'all get what I'm saying. No Andre Ward. Like, I can name a multitude of fighters from even 2009. Like, even Fight Night round three where it's like, hey, bro, this person should have been on here. Round four, why wasn't these group of people here? Why this group of people wasn't here? But something tell me they're going to get the NUAs. They're going to have Floyd from the Corrales fight. Like the most, I think they're going to have three to four different Floyds. This is not by any means a rumor. This is full speculation of me with them putting Floyd on the game. But to rival an already immaculate, undisputed roster, I feel like you're going to have to get heavy hitters. Like, and no, not just legends. Don't sell us legends and say, here's Tyson. Here's Frazier, here's Foreman, nah. I want the best fighters now. Bam Rodriguez, shout out to Steel City Interactive. Um, Floyd May, they don't even got to get Floyd. I didn't even mean to say him. Terrence Crawford, like even people like uh, Marcos Madonna stylistically, Aaron Pryor, you must have Terry Norris, Mildred Taylor. Give people enough fighters to use that even if the fighter ain't better, they got certain capabilities that align with a fighter. So that's why I say if I get a Floyd Mayweather who's five foot eight, if he's hypothetically on the game, don't make it to where my options is a Khan and a Khan. He got speed, but his chin and stuff is so low. It's like that's the only match. Nah, give me somebody who got athleticism, power. You know, if it's like a, a junior middleweight, Mike McCullum. You know, let me get somebody like a Gerald McClellan. Let me get a Julian Jackson. Like, people who got overalls, James Tony, Bernard Hopkins. Like, we need fighters with attributes and guys who at least are around the same height. So, it could come down to who's better and not who's using a better fighter. I also want the skill gap to be back on the game to where the better fighter will win. Make it, please make it defensive. Don't make it like fight night round three and round two in 2004 to where the defense is weird. I get it. Don't do weird stuff, though, like add hyper spam like round four. That was kind of crazy. And I'm like, fight night champion where you could push people and punch. Don't do that weird stuff either. Like, do when, when y'all make this game, make it with some form of integrity. But that's my thoughts in terms of roster, what they should do, gameplay. Just do y'all thing. Make it to where it's good lateral movement, footwork, uh, clinching, inside fighting. But don't try stuff to where y'all forcing it. Even inside fighting, while it should be on there and it's a necessity in real life, y'all have a habit of making, like implementing things and making it bad. So don't get too excited. And y'all Yang is in a bad spot, a worse spot with me than still City Interactive. Because y'all Yang has had eight updates over the course of six years, not even six years, three years. I'm like, dang, eight tuners? Like the game was practically different each one. And eventually I think it was for the better. But try not to make that many mistakes in this. Um, I ain't even asking y'all to let me test the game. I ain't trying to build a bond, EA Sports, or nothing like that. I'm just telling y'all the rule because we want a good game. I stream, uh, you know, do what we basically do. It was fun playing y'all product, even though y'all said F us for 14 years. I think y'all bogus. Shout out my guy, Mike Maha. Shout out Brizzo. Shout out to the real ones left at uh, EA. or Shout out to the ones that left EA too because EA be bogus. But... Looking forward to it. 
Don't abandon Undisputed, even if Fight Night is a better game, which we expect it to be, and have the better roster. Remember, those slick, goofy youngins switched up on the community. So while we're going to support the game and buy it, they are still clowns. So, yeah, shout out to EA Sports. No, I'm not testing y'all game. <laughs> nah, y'all bogus, though. I ain't testing it. It's your boy, Malky Pablo. I will be buying it, though. We out here. Tell me y'all thoughts and y'all are y'all excited for this. We out.